So the first four-year update of Planned Area, which I, I think all of you know, is a regional blueprint. At the regional level, Bear, or Marin County rather, along with Napa, continues to have the lowest uh, level of growth uh, for the entire Bay, Bay region, where we remain at 1%, which was, was Marin uh, percentage for the initial Bay Area, or initial plan Bay Area, I should say. You may recall that your board commented on a preliminary set of growth uh, projections back in October. Those were referred to as the draft preferred scenario. Uh, and uh, the slide before you shows at the, on the bottom row of those numbers, at least um, were released in, in August, we commented in October. And uh, for households, I'm gonna focus on the change, which is the net increase. The uh, MPC and APAG data showed 3,150 additional households in the unincorporated county over that 30 year period, uh, and 3,850 new jobs. Uh, we commented to APAG and MTC pursuant to a letter that your board endorsed. Uh, there were two principal comments in that letter with respect to households. We noted that the household growth projection in our view was very ambitious in light of the actual housing production in the county over the last, unincorporated county over the last five years. We um, gathered information from our housing reports, extrapolated that over a 30 year period and came up with a, a number of 900 new households, of course, well below 3,150. Um, on the job side of the, uh, the growth projections, our comments focused largely on the priority development job growth, which for employment purposes is Marin City. We have a small uh, PDA area in unincorporated Santa Fe that is zoned for residential only. And in that regard, we noted that the base year projections for job, I believe it's, um, uh, in the unincorporated county PDA at that time, it was um, five, 650, um, appeared high to us based upon our review of state employment data, which in 2014, I believe, showed more like 400 jobs. However, the net increase, that 100 additional jobs in Marin City, was less of a concern to us at that time, given uh, the uh, possibility and our aspirations for the revitalization of the shopping center in Marin City and perhaps some other job opportunities. So as you can see in the, um, the upper row, the, the numbers for both household projections and employment projections have been revised in the draft of Plan Bay Area. My understanding is that these numbers have been endorsed by the executive committees of both ABAG and DC, so we do, don't, we do not expect them changing um, as the draft plan area proceeds, and we'll come back to some next steps in just a moment. But very briefly, the household projection numbers have dropped from 3,150 to 2,200. I believe that's about a 950 uh, household reduction. That's um, in keeping and in, in, in moving in the direction of the comment letter that we sent to ABAC. And similarly, the employment projection has dropped from 3,850 down to 3,800. That's a very incremental adjustment. The other thing that's taken place since your board commented on the draft for scenario in October is that we consulted with the Marin Economic Forum regarding the employment projections. As you may recall, we discussed that, and they wrote an analysis of which I believe you have. It's also posted on our website. Uh, the forum had some difficulty reconciling the MTC and APAG forecasts for jobs with official data from the state. I think that's largely the uh, data from the economic or in, Development Department, or excuse me, the Employment Development Department and, and the Census. And they found that based upon those official estimates, Marin County has already produced between 2010 and 2015, 1,280 jobs. That's 96% of the 3,850 jobs that we were looking at at that time. And 2016 was another strong year for employment in Marin, uh, according to Rob Eiler of the forum. Uh, he estimates that there are or 3,000, but possibly 3,300 jobs, depending on how many count them in Marin County. Of course, that would exceed the, the, the number already. So clearly, uh, MTC and ABAG are projecting a major slowdown in uh, job growth in the county um, for the remaining period of the 30-year planning horizon. They do note that uh, at the Bay Area regional level, uh, I think close to 60% of their projected job growth occurred between 2010 and 2015, so their, 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 their findings are somewhat similar in terms of the accelerated or the really strong job growth that we've 
uh, we've experienced both the Marin and the Bay Area, and uh, no doubt that's in part due to the economic recovery. Um, they do indicate that if the upper end of that employment cycle is reached before 2030, 2020, perhaps, or even sooner, that they expect the downturn in the economy, economy is going to dampen that number and slow it down. So um, in terms of next steps, uh, there was a public workshop on the plant draft plan area in Mill Valley this last Saturday. Uh, there are uh, some, there's an opportunity to comment on the draft DIR. Our environmental review staff is reviewing the draft DIR for the Plan B area and may make some comments based on their completion of that review. Uh, the Joint MPC Planning Committee and ABAC Committee, I think, are having a, a presentation coming up on June 9th, and the expected final adoption of the draft Plan B area in a final form is expected for this July. That concludes our remarks. If you have any questions, we'd be happy to answer them for you. Questions, I'm looking at my lab. Any questions? Any questions to the lodge? Um, anyone from the audience wanted to comment on this kind of area? Yes. Hi, I'm still Steve Nessel from uh, Marinewood. I've been here since for the last four years. And first, I want to call, call foul on this presentation. It should. This is a 25-year plan or a 23-year plan. You know, why is it a verbal presentation? Uh, I think we know the answer. You didn't want the public here. You, and the idea uh, that you can sneak this uh, in is, is just reprehensible, in, in my opinion. There's been a lot of interest. There still is a lot of interest in this. This is your legacy, uh, Plan uh, Bay Area 2040, and I encourage you not to support it. And um, I have been documenting over the last 12 months uh, some of the comments, and I'm going to run through them uh, from uh, mostly politicians. First, uh, Vita Flores, uh, you're familiar with, uh, is very concerned about displacement. Uh, Cynthia Kroll actually uh, made an excellent critique of uh, Plan Bay Area. She's concerned because it's a 25-year plan, and we're undergoing uh, another industrial revolution with automation. And Plan Bay Area does not really address that. She's more concerned with the displacement of uh, workers. It doesn't account for recessions, uh, self-driving cars, earthquakes. When we have earthquakes, where are the people going to go when they're displaced? Well, no, there's, there's going to be an earthquake. And um, lastly, it doesn't address housing development costs. Um, Diane First in Larkspur is really concerned because uh, they've been assigned 700 uh, jobs and 500 homes, and yet no one can seem to tell uh, uh, Corey Madera where, um, where these jobs are going to come from or where these homes are going to be built because um, uh, Urban Sim has them on FEMA uh, uh, flood uh, plans. Pam Drew's concerned also with uh, urban sense. Um, and, you know, the citizens in general are concerned that uh, there is actually no, nothing, uh, uh, the carrying capacity as well as the quality of life uh, that is sacrificed for uh, high level, uh, high density urban growth is not being accounted for. There's more. Uh, I've got it all online. I'm recording this. I'm recording you guys. I'm recording the, uh, uh, what's going on. And I hope someday to uh, uh, put together a, a summary movie of how Marin was ruined. So it's not ruined yet. Uh, Jim Bitter back uh, Mill Valley. Uh, you all get a, my class gets an F. If, this, what, if that was the paper that they wrote, the letter that they wrote, they get an F in the science class. Uh, I heard the name Cynthia Kroll. Is it Cole? Yeah. It's another reason for why we're funding all this. She has a salary. She's coming over to Marin, my town, my county, where I was born, telling us we have RENA numbers 
that we need to build housing. Okay, I, I was born here in the Little White Church down in Chevron, St. Hillary's. I used to have dinner with Fred Selinski, my dad, at the SFYC eating abalone. Marin Joes, the Della Santina family. Martin and Val Vermonti, who owned the dump. Martin owned the dump. It's a San Quentin disposal site. It's all that. I have watched this place my whole life. The goat lady, the goat. We don't need regional planners telling the people in Marin County what they can build, how they can build it, when they can build it, what has happened to the five of you that you, rep you represent all of us today, the history of our county. I've seen this all over the Bay Area, San Jose, Pleasanton, stack and pack, wind cups everywhere. I know Bruce Dorfman, Thompson, I know the names, I know the consultants that are, that are writing general plans for cities all over the Bay Area that has the language in there that enables the builders to build the stuff. SB 375 amended CEQA. You know, you know, in the middle of the night, it amended it. There are blocks in, in CEQA now to, for multifamily housing because the environment in Marin County, the human environment, which is stated in NEPA, the National Environmental Policy Act, which addresses the human environment. Our human environment apparently is going to be better if we have the American Planning Association, regional governments telling us what we can and can't do in this lovely county. And I don't expect the five of you to address anything I have said, because I firmly believe that I represent the feelings of the residents of Marin County, because I've been here my whole life. Thank you. Charlie Casper, an association with public employees. We represent about 1,300 Marin County employees. Some of them live in this county, some of them do not because they cannot afford to live here and they would like to live here. I believe that this plan Bay Area projects 1%, is that correct? 1% of the total Bay Area growth in Marin County. 1%. Whether we like it or not, we live in a bigger world than just next door. What happens in our region affects all of us. The report, I went to the workshop the other day, bragged about how Marin County has been able to save agricultural land, which is wonderful. Some other counties haven't been quite as successful as that because houses have been built there. Why? Because we have people who need to have houses to live in. I think it's perfectly reasonable to approach these issues from a regional perspective, to address jobs and housing, to recognize that as long as there's going to be population growth in this state and in this country, every place in the country is going to have to take on some of that growth. And there are people who would like to live here who can't afford to live here. There are people who work here, and I would suggest to you it's actually in the interest of this community to be able to have people who work here live here, not just for environmental reasons, but what about the disasters? You have police officers who drive five or seven deputy sheriff's officers who drive five or six hours, work their three shifts here, and sleep here, and then drive back home. What happens in the catastrophe when they can't get here? Scott Wilmore, Sausalito. Um, I'm sorry to see you taking so much grief for an attempt to create a regional plan. I think it's well-founded, and I think that any attempt to uh, to address regional issues requires a regional plan. It can't be done piecemeal. And um, in, in conjunction with the attempts to address the accumulation of carbon in the atmosphere, I think this is a very positive step. Uh, one thing that does concern me is some of the economic projections. We're actually seeing a uh, decreasing population in the county. More people are actually currently leaving the county than moving in. And I think that is due in part to the affordability of housing. People are simply finding it more affordable to leave rather than stay here. So um, an important part of this, these projections has to do with the number of jobs that are being created. However, the jobs that are actually being created are typically in the retail service and healthcare industries. And those jobs certainly do not pay enough to cover the cost of living in Marin County. 
So um, I'm glad to see this, and I appreciate all your effort on this project. Thank you. Anyone else in the I'm bring this back to the board. First of all, are there any questions? Comments? Uh, I think it's uh, Supervisor Rice. I just want to uh, thank uh, Supervisors Connolly and Everton for your work showing on SEC and ABAC with regards to um, really speaking up uh, forcefully for the local voice and for the recognition that across the Bay Area you <coughs> have unique communities and uh, local control and, and local driving of what happens in our communities is, is, is critically important at the same time that we recognize we are part of a larger region and we have commuters crossing jurisdictional lines, we have pollution crossing jurisdictional lines, and we have housing needs across the um, way. So I actually think that this Plan Bay Area uh, 2040 is an improvement over the prior uh, Plan Bay Area, and I appreciate the work on that. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Supervisor Rice. I really can't take a lot of credit being you on eBay. <clears throat> but I can't go back to comment that much of the criticism we're hearing <clears throat> is around displacement and the loss of middle income wage earners. And quite honestly, I'm kind of perplexed by that argument from the same people who don't want to build houses. Because that's the the net result of those two things happening is it's not having more housing. So I think the 2,200 homes that we're required to build in the next 23 years is quite reasonable to we're in. If I can want, make it a go point of control. Yeah, make it a clear, fake, clarification that 2,200 figure is a growth projection. It's not a mandate or expansion to build units. That comes through the regional housing needs allocation, and, and that will be coming in the next uh, uh, cycle of updating plan right here. Anyway, expect that sort of production is not unusual for land. I don't think the local basket is done much more than that in terms of certain areas of the county. But the point I want to make is I don't think you can have both no housing and criticizing the displacing worker and displacing the people who are in the Yes, thank you. I wanted to uh, really commend the community as well. We had a uh, public forum on Plan Bay Area 2040 this past weekend in Mill Valley. Very well attended. Um, representatives from ABAG and MTC were there. Um, many of the arguments that we've heard uh, here today on both sides of, of the perceived issues um, were raised there and, and discussed in great length. Um, and what uh, was evident there and, and has been throughout the process is it is important for our local community to directly engage on this issue. And as was mentioned earlier, there is a, a more formal public comment period going on now. Um, and uh, it'll be crucial, and, and we fully understand that as, as the representatives on MTC and ABAG, um, that local needs and perspectives are uh, advocated for um, in the context of uh, uh, what do we need to do here locally um, to uh, keep uh, Marin's unique character, as well as meet our needs. Uh, we have workers here, um, and we have families here, as well as meet part of the region. So um, I'm confident that, particularly given lessons learned, I think, over the last several years from um, how things transpired um, uh, the first time around, if you will, with Plan Bay Area to, to where we are now in terms of process and action. Uh, uh, I think let's stay on it, but, but uh, things are moving forward. Thank you, Supervisor, and thank you, Supervisors, for joining and, and uh, Colleague, for being the experts on this. Every day, six, 60,000 cars come into Moran for people going to work because they don't live here and really can't, many can't afford to live here. 
Marin because 85% of our land is open space, parks, are looking at dealing with existing housing and converting that to, um, to affordable housing. We've worked with Supervisor Conley has worked with landlords, <clears throat> encouraging them to accept Section 8, and that's been successful. At some point in time, oh, let me also add that uh, Assemblymember Levine left a message in my office, to my office saying that he's working on a bill to permanently change Marin's designation from suburban to metropolitan. We did do it for a, a while. No housing has come. No housing has come forth to do it. But he's looking at that. At some point in time, there, we are going to run out of, <coughs> of space um, to to uh, to build housing. And you know, just sitting here trying to think of how we deal with that, we might be able to look at time in re reduction of greenhouse gases to the number of housing. And if we get down to zero in our greenhouse gases, that might be a way to look at it. That we do need to encourage uh, workers and people who live here to take the trains, buses, carpools, uh, because it this is a problem and it has to be dealt with on a regional issue. Do I have a motion to approve the, the, the report and see the report? Okay. Second, all those in favor? Thank you, Thank you very much. Is this an it is an informational item to us. So we don't we don't review and it said we review and approve the recommended allegations. So we just did that. Okay. Thanks. Thank you.